Hi, welcome back to the Let's Build series. We're now on episode two, and I'm selecting the car for this week, but I'd like you to select the car for next week. So please put in the comments either a GTA car that you'd like me to build and give me maybe an idea of the build or just freedom to build what I want, or if there's a specific real car you'd like me to try and build, put that down and if I can do it, I'll make the episode from it. Today we're going to look at building the Mercedes AMG GT and specifically we're going to either try to make the GTR or the GTR Pro. Now you can make either of these cars in game. The R is more focused than the regular GT but the Pro takes it on a level with a half cage and more aerodynamic uh, additions etc. We can build both but I do favour and I'll say this again in the build the regular R and that's because the parts are easier to achieve. For example we don't have any fender vents available in the game. We start with armour all the way because the car needs to look pretty after it's been crashed. And if you drive it a lot I think you'll want to do the brakes because I don't think they're the best on this car anyway. Now the front bumpers. For the R we're perfectly well served just by using the stock front bumper. In fact everything else is a little bit too aggressive. We do need some aggression for the R Pro. We need canards, we need a splitter, we even need those little rods that are normally wrong, but in this case are right. If we get out a race splitter, we have all those items, so this is definitely the pick for the R Pro. But just bear in mind the splitter is a little bit big, and the canards, which should go here on the end of the splitter, they don't. They go higher up on the wing, on the fender, sorry, and so it's not exactly a dead ringer. And of course, as mentioned before, we don't have those vents on the fenders. Unfortunately for the rear bumpers, we don't really have the correct shape for the diffuser. It's a little bit flatter, but never mind. The carbon vents is probably the one to go for. I'm going to change mine to that one in a second. Just gives you the little uprights that a diffuser has, even though we don't have the shape. You might think about adding the other diffusers but you can see they stick out below the car they're at the wrong angle they're just not like the real car so for either version of the car i suggest you just go carbon vents and that's great just note the gtr pro does have some very big side canards and they like the fender vents are not available in the game now inside a gtr is basically just a lovely standard interior but with some quite racy seats and a little bar across here between the suspension struts so stock works really well or you can go for the racing seats i have gone for the seats but i don't know the belts are quite obvious you might want to go stock but what if you want a gtr pro which has a half cage well i think you're going to have to stay with the same options because the only cage you can have on this is a full cage, a padded full cage. I mean, look at that. That is totally out of keeping for the GTR Pro. So again, you're more accurate with the GTR. Now, as an aside, you can make some superb race cars, as you can imagine, uh, with this. Moving on to the exhaust. Both of the cars we're looking at have a sort of trapezoidal, is it, uh, shape exhaust here. So if you look, the stock exhaust with two pipes, mm, three pipes, at least they're in the right place, even if they're not coming out of that great big uh, hole in the centre there. The last three exhausts are side exhausts out of the sills, and they are really good for race car builds. The grill is very simple on just about any build, in fact, for this car, which is the classic grill with carbon icon. The top three are wrong. The bottom ones can be correct, depending on your paint colour, but... Uh, the one I mentioned will always be correct. Both the cars we're talking about, the R and the R Pro, have those vents at the back of the hood slash bonnet. So the sport vents is absolutely perfect, really good option. On the lights, you see I apparently have selected none. That's because I have the white lights on from the car meet, which I think look really good. Liveries is the downside on this car red stripes and white stripes. Now there are stripes on the GTR Pro but if you look at all the colors that you can find on Google they're not white and they're not red they're generally either green or, or a, a sort of silver or black stripe so we can't use those. The Love Muscle livery is quite flexible it's certainly good for the Edition 55 build that you will have seen in my track day deep dive tour 
The other ones are a little strange. They can be made to work for certain race cars. They're not ideal. I don't think it's as good a selection of liveries as we saw for that Alfa Romeo last week. Moving on to the mirrors, carbon mirrors is a very simple and easy choice for both cars. I've recently made a video on satin colours, so that's linked down below on exactly how I did this. But you need this hex, which came from gtacolors.com, and it's for Green Hell Mango, which is just a wonderful colour. You add a bright green pleasant, as you can see, to finish it off. We're not really using the secondary, I have it black, but it doesn't matter in this particular case. And inside you want either a black or a graphite interior. Oops, this is me from the future, I made a mistake. The first three smooth roofs are perfect for GTRs and the second two with the dip in the middle are perfect for the GTR Pros. You want the carbon one in each case, but for a GTR I should have picked the smooth one. Stock skirts on both the cars and the reason is both of them just have one black sliver at the bottom that's very much like the black sliver on this car and everything else just adds stuff that is wrong. Now this spoiler, the small spoiler, it looks really good, it's really close and it, it really looks like somebody in aerodynamics has spent some time designing the spoiler. It's absolutely perfect for either of the two builds that we are doing. Of course as you go on up you go past the race car spoilers and you end up with the stupid ones. Oh, select the small spoiler, we move then to sun strips. We're seeing them, some of them go when you're doing a race car build, we don't need them. Mine is on race suspension, but actually I think that's wrong. If you look, competition is pretty much the ideal height to match the real thing. So I'm just going to raise mine up a little bit there. And uh, transmission and turbo maxed out on mine because I drive it a lot. Wheels. Now these Mercy style in black are what I've seen on a lot of the GTR versions. So they're great and... Uh, for once, these are not expensive wheels. You just grab them out of the sports category, paint them black. I've also seen some with the alloy or the silver wheel. So here you can either splash out and go for a chrome Mercy, which I know some people do think is a little bit too shiny. Or of course, you can go back to the standard Mercy, but have it in the alloy color, which is probably closer. I do find it a little bit dull sometimes. So uh, your choice there. If you are building the pro version of the car, it tends to come with a sort of chrome-lipped wheel with black spokes, and so in the high end, the Mercy chrome lip would work for you there. A light tint on the windows for either of them, and that completes the build on your GTR or your GTR Pro. I've mentioned you'll get a little bit closer to reality with the GTR, but if you build the Pro based on what I told you here, I think you'll still be very happy. Oh, please do give me some ideas for next week. I'm really looking forward to doing that one. And if you enjoyed this or had even a bit of inspiration, then a thumb would be really appreciated. And if you like real cars in GTA, well, of course, you'll want to subscribe. Time for you to get building and customising now. And thank you so much for watching.